Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermit's Craft server. It is episode 134 and today I want to ask for your help, okay? If there is anyone out there who is watching this video right now, which I'm sure out of the one point almost four million people that are watching this video, I'm sure there's at least a handful of you who can surf. I need a hand. I really want to buy a surfboard. Now as you guys know, I already have a surfboard, I've got a shortboard, but I'm interested in picking up a longboard as well, just so that I can catch the slightly smaller waves, because obviously I surf in England, things aren't particularly ridiculous and massive over here, and generally speaking, the waves are between like one and four feet. Now my shortboard is brilliant for bigger waves, but unfortunately it's not particularly brilliant for the smaller waves, so I would like some advice, please. If any of you guys know really good surfboards that you think would suit me perfectly, then that would be fantastic. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you ever so much for all of the help. But anyway, we're going to move on from all of that now because we've got a Hermitcraft episode to record and we have got a whole ton of work to do. And the first thing that we need to do is we actually need to go through all these chests and try and work out how many diamonds we actually have on the insides of these things. I mean, so far we have nine and I imagine there's a few more in the system. So let's take a quick look through. 15! 15, 15 diamonds in total we have got from our storage system. Now, despite my confusion, I thought I was getting diamonds from my AFK fish farm. It turns out hermits have been popping past and been buying books directly from my storage system, which is totally fine. If you want to do that, just pop on past and pick up anything that you want. But anyway, now what we have to do is we need to clear out this area right here. As you guys know, I've recently gone into business with Iskull. I need mending books. And this entire storage system, <laughs> the entire thing, is completely filled with junk. This is going to take a long time. A seriously long time, but we need to throw out all of this rubbish. On a side note, I don't really know how this has happened, but it seems like my non-stackable item filter has actually broken here because this side is meant to be purely for fish. And as you can see, there's a lot more than fish on the inside of this thing. So that's why I'm actually throwing out Every single item, every single enchanted book, everything is going out of this thing because I want to get back to the old way. Rather worryingly, this hopper right here seemed to be filled and then none of the other hoppers were filled. So as you can see, I chucked out all of these items. I thought it's because all of these hoppers were backed up, but no, the hoppers aren't backed up. There's a chance that they were, but now I've cleared out the item. I think that's it. Fingers crossed that's what it is because otherwise that thing is totally broken. By the look of things, we've actually managed to get one of the new enchanted books, Sweeping Edge 3. Now what this allows you to do is it allows you to increase the sweep range of the sword. So you could like swing the sword and it will hit more mobs in like a bigger radius. I wonder if I'm going to be able to get that onto this mega sword. I'm not 100% sure. And finally, we are on the home straight now. You guys have no idea how long it takes to sort through about a billion chests, looking at about a billion items, whilst getting far from a billion frames a second. Right now, we are sitting at 12, sometimes 13, which isn't too bad, but it could be a lot better. But as you can see from these chests right here, we have cleared out a lot of the rubbish. Some saddles have fallen through to the bottom, but we should have purely fish, on this side and other stackable items and then on this side we should only really have enchanted books All right let's get rid of those two so yeah enchanted books on this side everything else has been gotten rid of fishing rods bows and everything like that that's all now gone, and on this side we should only have fish, and as you may be able to notice in my inventory, I've got myself a ton of books, because these are all the mending books that were just dotted around in some of the chests that I guess I hadn't looked at for a little while, but most importantly, all of the hoppers out the back. Obviously, there are hoppers out the back of these chests right here, and those hoppers store items, as you can see. Now, occasionally, when you clear out all of the chests, obviously those items fall through into the chest, you look back in the chest, and you find yourself a little present. So right now we've got one, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 mending books. Which means that we have a total of potentially 45 diamonds in my inventory right now. Sweet. I thought I would drop them off straight to the store, but I don't know how to work this thing. So you guys are going to have to let Iskal know that this chest is right here. And it is filled to the brim with various different mending books. Now the only one that isn't a mending book is that one, the Sweeping Edge one, and that is because 
I really want to try this out. I want to see if we can get Sweeping Edge on our sword and how effective it is. Let's quickly run inside here. And fingers crossed, it's already too expensive. I hadn't even put anything in. <laughs> oh, I really wanted that as well. Maybe we could get rid of Fire Aspect 2 and have Sweeping Edge instead. That seems like a much better attack. Anyway, aside from all that, we have got an entrance to build to this place right here. So this is the mega base, it's looking mega as per usual, but we need a way to officially get in here because right now we don't have a way to officially get in here. So I was thinking we could either build a staircase going up like that, but unfortunately that thing is in the way and there is no way I'm moving that guy. So I guess we could build an elevator. Either a minecart elevator or potentially something slightly different. So I thought a good way to start on this one would probably be to clear out the area for this thing. Now I've decided I'm going to be using a slime block elevator that has the minecart system, a bit like the one that I did for my Skylift, which takes us up to the AFK platform. Now it shouldn't be too difficult as this thing is absolutely tiny, but it should end up looking pretty cool once everything is done. Things are coming together nicely. I'm beginning to get the swing of things here. I've totally forgotten the design, so I've had to sort of readjust myself and relearn how to do things, but I think it goes up a little bit like this. And then we'll have our sticky piston with our slime block. Yeah, that's good. And then in this direction, we have the sticky piston. Yeah, it's sort of, it's all coming back to me. This used to be muscle memory. At one point, I was building these pretty much every single week. So I guess, well, we're pretty much almost at the top. Seriously, what on earth is with these chunks on the Hermitcraft server? I swear these ones just never work. I might actually need to send a message to Exumavoid to say that this part of the server is totally broken. But anyway, we have built the first few sections of our elevator right here. You just drop down to the bottom. As you can see, this thing is absolutely tiny. But if we hit the button... I mean, that that seems really slow. And I don't know if the top one actually fired. Ah. Fireworks are amazing for getting out of holes that you're stuck in. Yep, just just about. <laughs> oh my word. Yeah, I'm being a little bit clumsy on the server right now, but hopefully we should have fixed up everything. So now... Good. Okay, right, let's get the minecart in. Let's see if I've built this thing correctly first time. Now that really would be a first. I don't think I've ever built an elevator correctly on the first go. We hit the button, and that's a good sign. No, not a good sign, not a good sign. By the look of things, we have got the timing completely wrong. So that goes up, and then that happens just a tiny bit too fast. Repeater has been adjusted, now we hit the button, and let's do it, right. There we go, there we go, and we should land on the top, nice, and then we can hop out. Yeah, my dismount wasn't so good. <laughs> I think potentially we need a wooden button on this one because the pulse isn't quite long enough, and also you always take damage, but there we go. That works, wooden button, everything will be done. Okay, so the entrance and exit to this place has now been completed. We have a fully functional minecart elevator that takes us from this level up to the top right there. But here's what I'm thinking. Okay, right now, we just have a lake. We have a lake that separates the industrial district from this place right here. Now, what I was thinking is, is that we could add in a little bit of extra redstone, which we can make a pathway appear out from the bottom of the lake. Now, water and redstone, they don't tend to mix. So I'm just going to have to cross my fingers for this one and hope that we don't get any flooding going on. But I think it should be a fairly fun project to work on. So stage number one is I have planned out the pathway. Now as you can see it is two blocks wide and it sort of winds its way through. We've got a straight section here then we've got a slightly more challenging diagonal section and then we have another straight section at the end. So now what I have to do is I'm going to have to gather up myself some blocks and we're going to have to... Well, I guess clear out all of the water to start things off. Then we're going to have to clear out some space underneath to make way for all of the redstone. 
and then we can start work on placing in all of the pistons. Now I think the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to pop up sand. I was originally going to just do double piston extenders, but I think popping up sand will be a lot easier and will work just as well. So yeah, I guess let's get started. Progress updates, the entire area has now been cleared out. So we have got a massive space to place in all of the redstone. Now all the way along the bottom, we're going to have our sticky pistons facing upwards. So they're all going to be going across like this. And then on top of those, we're going to have regular pistons. And then, oh dear. We could be in trouble. So the way that I was going to power these was going to be a block and then our redstone torch like that. So for those of you who don't know, that will cause the two pistons to extend and if you just place it down at the bottom right here. So if you place in a block and then a redstone torch and then a block on top, that will actually cause a double piston extender and then when you break this block, they... Oh, that's also broken. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's not good. Right, looks like we're going to have to use a lot of repeaters here. This could potentially end up using more resources than I actually have. I mean, we've got about a stack and a half of regular pistons. We've got a whole bunch of sticky pistons as well. I think I underestimated the size of this path just a little bit. We're making really good progress right here. If my calculations are correct, and if I've done all of the redstone in the right fashion and wired everything up well, we should have ourselves one side of the double piston extender. So if I power this redstone line, yes, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 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 oh dear. Okay, looks like we have a tiny bit of bud powering going on. Um, right, well, it's, it fixed itself nicely. That's good. We didn't have to break loads of pistons because that would have been a pain. Okay, so where do I go from here? I guess adding in like a slight, slight abrogate in each one of these sections. That would probably be a good way to start. So this one will have an abrogate here, and I guess we can run the redstone out a little bit like that. And yeah, we'll have one abrogate there, one abrogate there, so that should extend out our pulse a little bit. And then we set this one to two ticks. Maybe, potentially, that could work. So let's power the redstone once again. All right, that is a lot more promising. Good, I am seeing full double piston extensions all the way along this side. Okay, that's good to see, and then on the retraction we should see a full retraction of all of the pistons as well. Yeah, that looked promising, that did look promising. Let's see, is there any, any left over? No, good, okay, that's working. So if we were to have sand on top like that, then that would have popped up and also dropped down. Sweet, okay, let's do exactly the same thing on the other side of this ridiculous piston contraption. I still have absolutely no idea where my redstone shulker box has gone, by the way. Absolutely no clue. I might have to put, like, missing posters around the surfer. No, no. I think... Oh, I have got very lucky there. I just watched all of the water pour down. But thankfully... I think it's only knocked out our redstone torch. So we are actually almost at the stage now where we can test this thing out. So this redstone goes up here. Yep, that connects in. Right, that goes around there. This one's a little bit wiggly and a little bit all over the place because I didn't have quite as much space back here. But if we place in the redstone torch, we have got a full double extension in pretty much everywhere. So those are all extended. That one for some reason isn't. Oh, and by the look of things, that's because <laughs> we actually got a bit of a gravel fall there. So let's just quickly sort that one out. So that should be extended and that would have been extended if that gravel wasn't there. So that's good, let's stand on there. Good stuff. Awesome. Everything is fully, fully extended. So let's just try and make our way back through and just onto the other side. This place is hellish to work with, absolutely horrible. 
And let's just quickly break our redstone torch, which is right there. And we should see a full double retraction as well. Now, the places that this is important is the ends. They're most likely to go wrong. And by the look of things, this is all working. Excellent. So now we can hook it all up, connect it all together, then place in all of our sand. Here goes nothing. There it is. <laughs> we worked first time. We flicked our lever. And all of our pistons have extended. I'm honestly lost for words that that just worked. Okay, right, right, let's head off. We need to gather up some sand. There is a chance that I don't actually have all of that. So we may have to travel off to the desert. What on earth is Cub Fan doing? <laughs> what on earth is he doing? The man has created an obsidian biome. I don't know, I don't know how he does it. I seriously don't know how he does it. Now I personally, for some bizarre reason, think it's a good idea that the first time that I use this thing will be a live test. Now what I mean by that is water. Water is going to be involved. So let's start breaking off all of this cobblestone right here. And oh my word, I have not covered up the redstone. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was very, very close indeed. Right, so let's fix up all of that. We can break these blocks right now. And then I guess we can give it a go and see if the path is actually working. So this is what the lake is looking like at this point in time. It's quite difficult to tell that there is anything going on there, apart from the fact that, of course, we have got some sand winding its way over there. But we'll just ignore that for the time being. Right now, there is nothing jutting into the lake area. When we flick this lever, we should see that we get ourselves a bridge. That's perfect. I mean, how spot on can you get? <laughs> the bridge pops up, you wander over to this side here, we need to place in a block of cobblestone there to cover up that area, but other than that, you can just drop down into the base area, that's all good. And then once you're done, all you have to do is head over to this side, and fingers crossed this works, we flick this lever, and... Well, I have to say guys, I think this might be one of my most seamless redstone projects I have ever done on the Hermitcraft server. That has gone absolutely perfectly, right? <laughs> Let's leave that area behind now. We are going to grab the fishing rod because we have got some more mending books to gather. Except, as per usual, I cannot find... I can't find my... I just can't find my fishing rod anywhere. And I just watched back the footage from earlier in the episode, you know, when I was gathering the mending books. I threw out my fishing rod. I threw out my fishing rod and all the other fishing rods in the system, so now I don't have a fishing rod. <laughs> I just, I have no words. I have absolutely no words. I guess that will have to do. Oh. My elytra didn't activate. <laughs> Seriously? I mean... I just... Sometimes I just wish that I didn't get lag on the Hermitcraft server. That would be lovely. <laughs> Seriously would be lovely. Uh, because I just... I fell out of the sky. I was pressing the space bar like a madman. But clearly that wasn't working. Almost flew off the edge just then as well. Uh, I imagine I landed somewhere around about there. I honestly can't remember. If I lose my items again due to this, I will be very upset. And we are back on the server. So first things first, as per usual, we need to check out the slime flam chests and... Sweet! We managed to get a handful there. That is going well. This slime farm is working like a charm, but now the important thing. We are going to pop through and we're going to take a look and see if we have managed to get a ton of mending books. Now I'm hoping that we have. I mean we have 62 levels right here which isn't too bad. We've been AFK fishing all night. I managed to not get kicked from the server for once which is always a good thing. So hopefully, fingers crossed, there should be a whole ton of them down at the bottom of the storage system. Now that I've cleared everything out, they should all be right the way down at the bottom. So let's just pop down the minecart elevator and we will see what we have in these chests. 
So the suspense is building. <laughs> the suspense is building and there. Right, okay, that is a very good sign indeed. So we have got tons upon tons of books right here. And I'm starting to think that maybe, potentially, we should take a trip over to the bookstore because, well, as you can see, yeah, we've got we've got millions of books. I mean, seriously, millions of books. So I'm going to take a look through here. I'm going to check for any mending books. I'll put those off in a separate chest ready for Iskal, and then we'll take the rest of them over into my bookstore. It's actually been so long since I've been over to my shops. I don't actually, <laughs> I have no clue if the firework shop is sold out. I have no clue if this place is fully sold out. I mean, we have. By the look of things, we've made a couple of sales. Let's quickly chuck in all of these books right here. And we are going to need to do a full restock at some point in time. Because, I mean, I've used a full inventory of books on just one chest. <laughs> we've got a handful of books right there. Diamond there. Two diamonds there. That's good. Two more diamonds over there. And a spider! we got a spider in here as well! Oh my word! Right, let's get him out of here. <laughs> And two more diamonds in there. So 11 diamonds in total. We have got a whole bunch more books to take over. I'm going to keep picking them up from my base. But I think first I should probably take a look in the fireworks store. One, two, and then wow. Okay, so we have fully sold out of fireworks. So in total we have got 22, 23 diamonds there. Sweet. We're actually doing well on the shop front. Let's try and make our way back over to this section because I've just remembered I have got a store that I have not looked in pretty much since I built it. Now this is the slime block shop or the snot shop. I think I called this thing one diamond per stack and we've made two sales in here as well. Making tons upon tons of money. And this should be all of the books that I got from today's little session right here. Now I think there's probably a handful left over in the base. But those were all of the ones in the bottom four chests. And unfortunately, we didn't get any mending books during that session either. So we're going to have to do a few more in the future if you want to keep Iskal stocked up. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.